Okay, this is the combination of the CAD machine, uh, manual bike shifting project. This and is our uh, attack dyno, which is, uh, measures torque and horsepower and 0 to 60 times and things like that. So the CAD machine is essentially an electronic bike shifter, so instead of having your cranks up at the handles, you have buttons that you press. So up at the handlebars, we have two buttons on each side, one's for our, the front gear, one's for the back. And then we have an LCD screen which displays what gear you're in with a potentiometer to change the brightness. And then down here we have two metal geared servos are attached to the cables for the gears and that's what um, changes tension to shift the gear. And then back here we have our power supply and our circuit and we have a 6 volt battery as well as a 5 volt power supply. And in the seat we have a pressure sensor which turns um, the device on. Right now it's active, but since there's no pressure on the seat, um, it you can't shift gears. So like you can sh hit that. The sound registers that you try, but it won't work. And then downshift as well. And so on the screen it says, are you ready to go, Dr. Dave? <laughs> um, and so once you hop on the bike and sit on the bike, it turns on and registers and displays that you are in uh, your first gear in your front and your first gear in your back. And then if we want to shift, shifts to a different light show and shifts the servo motor. And then third gear. And then you can go all the way up to four. And then uh, we have seven gears. So once you get to your seventh gear, it'll display that uh, you are in your maximum gear. And it, there's limits on the servos. And then you can also shift the front to the second. And then up to your third. So here we have a little D-pad that we created to uh, move through our menu. There's a bunch of menu options. And so if we hop into something like the speed timer, a few options like 0 to 10 miles per hour, 0 to 20, 0 to 60. So we'll go ahead and uh, do 0 to 20. Make it be 0 to 60. All right, 0 to 20. <laughs> All right, so when you hit, uh, it'll ask you if you're ready. So you hit enter, and there'll be a slight countdown timer telling the rider that they uh, start. You gotta go, man. You gotta go. Rock gear ratio. So the way that the speed's actually getting calculated is there's a magnetic reed switch mounted on the spoke of the wheel and then on the rear fork. So the reason this is so confined and small is because we have a limited space to work in. This is designed to fit actually for a car. It's not meant to be for a bike. It's just for demonstration purposes. Um, it's supposed to fit in the aftermarket stereo slot um, in your car um, with this being underneath your seat. So you'll just have one wire coming out of this, um, this underneath your seat, and you read switch to your tires. So when it is in your car, uh, we, we'd like it to uh, tilt towards you. So we have a, a motorized slide potentiometer connected to a four bar linkage. All controlled with our PIC-16 F88 um, and our own H-bridge. So we read that position with the potentiometer through the PIC and it's an analog signal that gets converted to a digital. And it travels slower at the ends of the, of the bounds when it reaches its full tilt. I'll show the uh, dynamometer real quick, which just calculates torque and horsepower as you're riding. Pressure's on. See, you can't see it, but it's, it's running torque right now and converting to horsepower. And it'll show, it'll register a negative number when there's a when you're decelerating. When you hit back, it'll pop out and display your maximum torque horsepower that it recorded.